Hello people and welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. This is going to be Project Everything. Joe and I are going to be busy today working on multiple projects. But before I get started it seems that I'm butting heads with YouTube because I listen to the radio. Now even though I called the radio station that I listened to and told them that YouTube keeps deleting videos because I'm listening to the radio, YouTube's afraid they're going to get sued by the record label. Even though it's a public broadcast and the artist has been paid through promotional purposes through such radio station, they're deleting them anyway. So, from this day forward, all the music you hear on Bethel Brothers Hot Rod will be done by me or independent musicians that want to have their songs promoted by me on this show or So Broke Media. Feel free to contact me. If the song works, I'll put it in and promote your guys' name across the screen. Know what I mean? Your name here. Anyway, let's get started. So for today, I have to sand the mud that I put on Sam yesterday. Yay. Joe's got the hood up on Project Chevy because the carburetor showed up. And he's going to slap it back on. He's also going to be making a gasket that goes there. And we'll show you how to do that. Um... I did bring to his attention that tanks radiators over there and we might measure it to see if it'll fit in Project Fastback, but we'll see about getting to that and probably organize some of this stuff instead of leaving it out because it's supposed to storm soon. So, I'm gonna get started on these projects. Speak of the devil, here he comes. Let me see this. This was his old gasket. It's all chewed up and gross. He's got some gasket paper traced it out. I'm gonna cut it out. Then slap it on and put the carburetor on and maybe if the UPS guy shows up on time, his regulator will be here too. Dad said that there's, Dad said that there's a, a, a way you got to break it in. When it gets here, he wrote it down. He, uh, he told me. He just, one of us has got to hold the key and then the other one's got to prime it by putting a vacuum on the end of the hose before we hook it up to the carburetor. Ah. Otherwise, the diaphragm won't open and close right. Ah. Learn something new every day, huh? Yeah. I told him about YouTube not liking the music, so it's independent musicians or me from here on out. As long as you have the rights to your own song, send them in. We'll send them in. Right here. So I measured tanks right here. Way too big. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. So, uh, Jozo, why don't you slap those rims on? And for the dude, before they deleted the video, uh, he said, paint this area right here in the back, back space red like this. So I ran it by Joe and he said, man, maybe do it white. The trim's white, the stripes are white. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna slap these on for him while he debates it. And then uh, I can't sand that because he's doing the carburetor junk. So I'm gonna let him do that till the carburetor's on then. I'll slap these on. So we're gonna cue up some music. It belongs to me. So you can't delete it. I don't know what song it'll be, man. I'm in a bad mood today from all this. So it might be a good one. <laughs> Alright people, got the rim on there. Looks kind of funny because they're little bitty tires, but... Well, they're on a dune buggy, so... They're on a dune buggy. To get some scratch, go put some meats on there. Yep. About broke my head open trying to get those bolts off, and I also shined up the rim a little bit. This is what that one looks like. Yeah, a little shine. The other one. Dull. Use some 
light grit sandpaper, some of this junk, one of those, some SOS pad, whatever it took, man. And then I got that, came out with that little sheeny action. It's a lot better than that, yeah. These almost look painted. Look sheeny. So I gotta try to get them on the rest. Just gonna help break these bolts, I'll tell you that right now. We've got all the rims on, but one. Remember I said I cracked my head and trying to break these bolts off? Well, not only am I cracking my head, but Joe's breaking all the uh, extensions. <laughs> So actually, I'm grinding them down just so we can use it. And he's breaking all the uh, ratchets. So, he's welding one up that we broke. That way it can't spin and this will just be the lug breaker, baby. Second socket thing. No, oh, you're gonna burn me, dude. The curse continues. He broke that. Big surprise, huh? So he decided to drill out these lugs. Guess what, kids? Yep, yep. He broke a bit in the hole. <laughs> the tally is just skyrocketing today for broken parts. Just changing some rims, man. <laughs> yeah, the curse of YouTube strikes again. If I stop uploading to YouTube, Y'all just come on over and have me and Joe's friends in MySpace. You know, you just type it in your search engine around a million other different sites. Well, people, you broke a whole bunch of tools, but he got it off. Took a grinder, impact gun, uh, drill, hammers, some lube, and a piece of tubing. <laughs> but they're on there. Got to get some different uh, lugs for it and junk. Definitely sits a little bit lower. <laughs> it's got its slippers on. We're gonna put some bigger shoes on it at some point, but. Huh? I think those rims look way better. Yeah, they don't look all rusty. Yep, yep. And Joe got his carburetor on, and I even got some of Sam's butt shaved, so. I still got a lot more sanding to go. But, uh, yeah. So, maybe we're cursed a little bit, but we still got something done. I'm not a quitter. Not a quitter. And tap out. All right, people, that's going to do it for today's episode. We broke a lot of tools. Somebody's sitting somewhere jabbing booty dolls like us. But we still got something done. Like I said, if uh, I stop up a little on YouTube because they're crying, maybe go check out MySpace. Their video quality's better anyway. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out, babies. Ah.